what you see over my shoulder is ice and snow as far as the eye can see. All day yesterday, we were trapped in the ice. We were absolutely stuck. We couldn't get out. And of course, that is exactly what happened to the endurance. From a historical point of view, this is just outstanding. And it takes us right into the Shackleton saga. The conditions, as you can imagine, have been absolutely brutal. I mean, we go outside, we've got to completely cover up with everything from balaclavas to mittens and everything. What it does do is just make you think about all that Shackleton and his team had to put up with. And yeah, we were, we were a bit nervous. Um, we were expecting really low temperatures again. It could happen. Today it happened twice. It was dangerous back then, 100 years ago, and it's dangerous today. But this is the, the best kit available in the world today. Shackleton himself described it best when he said that this is the worst part of the worst sea on earth. He wasn't exaggerating. He also said that uh, what the ice gets, the ice keeps. I think we all kind of feel that there is some, you know, some homage that we're paying to Shackleton here. I mean, it's incredible when you think about it, you know, the way... Uh, we've come in the last hundred years. We have all the sophistication on this ship here about me now. And this is an incredibly beefy, powerful ship. And yet we've been absolutely ice bound, just as the endurance was a hundred years ago.